Today I'm modifying the intake on my M3 further and pretty much I just took my K&N intake tube off and I took my AEM filter off and so far all I did was I cut a little bit off for the end here with a regular hacksaw. This is how much I cut off, barely anything. I'm about to reinstall the tube back onto the car. And that's back on there now. So I'm gonna connect back that hose. And put my little screw back on here. And I got this cheap velocity stack. It's a Spectre velocity stack and I got a short four inch coupler. This coupler is about, let me see the length on this coupler. Coupler is about an inch and five eighths. I tried cutting my own. I had a silicone coupler. This will work as well. It's not the best cut, but this coupler will work as well. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use. I'm probably gonna use this one because it's perfect. And this one I cut all messed up. I mean, I couldn't cut it that straight, so I'm not gonna use it. Oh yeah, I also modified the tube that comes in here. I put a bigger tube or a bigger couple of hair. I cut out the top so air will come up and feed out into the filter that goes here. I'm going to put my velocity stack into my new filter. This is a diesel truck filter so it's huge and it sucks air from the top and the sides and it's a dry flow AFE. It has a huge clamp so I put that one on there. And now to get this in there with this this is going to be a tight squeeze, but it should fit. Maybe we put this on there first. Put our clamp on. But it works. Have a get. The velocity stack in there. Now the velocity stack is in. Next mask. And the intake setup is looking pretty nice. It's in there solid. It's a tight squeeze, but there's clearance all around. Next thing I gotta do is put my lid back on that I made myself. Uh, these are leftover sway bar end links. I just put them like that as a spacer. Like this. Yeah, like this. And then I have quarter 20 bolts. I tap these out to quarter 20 and I'm using a leftover grommet for my valve cover on my Trek. And this lid here is this a piece of plexiglass I cut myself. Catch that in there. And this one here, just get it in there and get it caught. 
All right, ended up loosening back these two clamps off of the coupler and readjusting the coupler a little more to tilt downwards so it'll have more clearance for the lid. Right, this filter is in nine inches in base, so it's huge. So to get it to clear, I had to add in a grommet in the bottom below my end link bushing that I already had for it to clear. And these screws are just hand tightened and I've never had them come off. They're just hand tightened and they got the grips on them. It looks good and clean. It's huge compared to this filter. And this is pretty big, this is a four inch filter. Still clean. It's the AEM dry flow. And that is a huge AFE dry flow. I'm gonna try to start it up now to see how it sounds. So I'll probably try to take it out tomorrow and take it for a drive and see how it sounds. On the road cruising now with the new 9 inch intake and velocity stack upgrade. This is still with stock headers so you'll possibly be able to hear the intake. As soon as you get 3000 RPM you can hear the intake. back home so right now we're about to get some revving uh, revving clips of the intake and everything is holding up good a couple layer and it fits perfect in there the exhaust is popping a little now and it never used to before and Everything's working good. And this is without headers. I didn't put the headers on yet. I already have them, but I didn't put them on yet. Headers are next. That's the next mod for this car, is the long tube headers. Mm -hmm. 